What's up guys, King Nerf here, and today I am bringing you guys an unboxing and review of the Nerf Zombie Strike um, Double Strike. So the Double Strike, um, it is essentially a triad with a uh, hammer prime, like the hammer shot, and it only um, has two shots. So right off the bat, I'm thinking I'm liking the triad better, but this gun is more of a novelty than anything, just because it looks really, really cool. So getting into the box, open face box, kids have touched your blaster, yes, I know, I don't like that either. I don't know, zombie strike logo, a cartoon dude with a blaster, double strike it right there, ages 8 plus, Hasbro logo, all that other junk, fires two darts in a row. Um, hammer action, and as you can see, it comes with two darts. So now on to the back, it's got a bunch of stuff back here. I'll read to you what this says: Mission self attack. Start er, targets. Unexpected encounters. Location wherever you need to. Move fast and think quick. Blueprint: Double strike blaster. Style: Zombie strike darts. Function: Quick draw. Results: Always hand always handy when you need it. Um, so it points out the zombie app, and again, comes with two zombie strike darts. So now let's cut this thing out of the package. All right, and it looks like there's a twist tie down there, just like that. And it looks like there's, uh, yeah, it does look like there's another twist tie, or whatever these cardboardy things are technically called. So I'm just gonna see that. All right, so the first thing I noticed, this thing is very small. Um, and the trigger pull is actually quite hard. Like, I'm pulling like half of the way as hard as I normally would, and it takes a while to get all the way there. So, I think it's cool how it comes with, like, how it does have two shots. It is essentially a triad with only two shots. So, I'll put that aside for there for a second. And then we can just rip the rest of this stuff out of here. Um, is there an instructional manual in here? Maybe it's in here. Um, it looks like there also might be some stencils. Just drop the darts, but oh well. Alright, so snipping this tape. Um, then ripping the whole thing open. No, I do not believe there is an instructional manual. Um, yeah, there is not. So the only thing that's in the box is the uh, double strike itself and the two uh, zombie strike darts, which I honestly think is kind of lame how they only give you two. I mean, if, if you get this for like your birthday or, and it's your first Nerf blaster, um, or if it's your first like blaster that doesn't take streamlines, you're done. Because you can't fire it unless you modify it and take out the barrel posts. Alright, so that does it for the review segment, or for the unboxing segment, and I will be right back with the review segment. I'll see you guys there. So, starting with the review segment, going from front to back. Um, the front barrel, obviously, it does not take N-Strike barrel attachments because N-Strike barrel attachments are bigger than this thing is, and it is a pistol. Um, it does hold two darts. One is kind of in front of the other, which looks actually pretty cool. Um, so then moving to the paint job, um, it's orange, green, black, and gray. I honestly love that paint job. Um, I think it looks sweet. So. Then moving on, it has one tactical rail up top, which, I don't know, I, I'd probably put a long shot scope on there if I were using this thing in a war. I don't know. Um, I honestly don't even know why they put that on there. Um, it does look kind of cool, but it's essentially pointless. I mean, you're not going to be able to put optics on that, because if you do, it would be very hard to put your thumb on here, because the uh, scope would be sticking out over that. Um, Moving on to the trigger, um, it has a nice trigger pull and it's not primed, 
But when you, or like I said in the unboxing segment, once you prime it, it has a very tough trigger pull. And I know that the uh, hammer shot was known for kind of having a hair trigger like that. So you can, you barely even pull the trigger and it'll shoot, which I honestly love. So comparing the weight to the hammer shot, this is so much lighter than the hammer shot. Um, the hammer shot is at least three times its weight. And here's a little side profile for you guys. Um, just in comparison, as you can see, the double strike is a lot smaller. Um, which is obvious because <laughs> it's not a hammer shot. It's a pistol, or not a revolver, I guess. So one thing that I forgot to mention is it has a uh, iron sight up here, but I don't think that you could really use that effectively because Nerf guns, these things are not accurate. <laughs> I mean, if there's like a one mile an hour breeze, they're gonna go all over the place. So, now moving on, the prime, the prime weight, it's, I'd say it's about the same as the um, hammer shot. It actually might be a little bit tougher. Um, I actually do think it is a little, it, eh, <laughs> I think it is a little bit tougher. So, now moving on to the handle. For my hands, it's somewhat ergonomic. I mean, it, it feels decent, but I find myself either having to do that or just like scrunch them up really tight. But since this is not a pr meant to be a primary, um, like all other pistols, um, you're not going to be holding it for like hours if you're in an HVZ game or an NIC war. The most amount you you probably hold this thing would be for, I'd say like two minutes tops at a time. So that's not really that big of an issue. And for somebody with smaller hands, like I have bigger hands than the average size nerfer, but for somebody with slightly smaller hands, like um, the people who this is undoubtedly designed for, um, it's gonna fit their hands perfectly. So moving on to the aesthetics of the blaster, I think this thing looks awesome. It looks so cool with the hammer prime. Um, all right guys, so my SD card just filled up while I was filming this. So I'm sorry, but what I was saying is that the aesthetics of this blaster look great. And when you pull the trigger, or when you prime it, the trigger like pulls back, which I honestly think looks really, really cool. Um, it just adds to kind of like the Derringer look to this. Oops, I almost dropped it, but. It almost adds the Derringer look of it a little bit. Um, I honestly do think that this thing looks really cool. I'm not sure how effective it is. I'm gonna fire off a test shot right at the camera and see if it'll hit it. And it missed high. Um, but it does look like it is fairly powerful. Honestly, more powerful than the hammer shot. Um, I'm sure that it's more powerful because of the harder prime and I'm sure somewhat because of the trigger pull, um, but yeah, so on a scale of 1 to 10, for small kids, I would probably give this thing a 9.9, .9 just because it is very, very cool, and as like a third backup or something for HVZ or NIC, this thing would be great. Um, that's my honest opinion. But for HVZ or NIC, or adult nerfers, I guess, this thing I would probably have to give an 8.5 just because the grip is somewhat small. And if you're pulling it out, you want to be able to like just pull the trigger barely and get a shot off. Because if you're in like a super tight war, like HVZ, and there are zombies like within a foot and a half of you, you want to be able to whip something out and kill the zombies so you don't get tagged. So yeah. My final opinion, uh, get this thing if you already have um, blasters that take zombie strike darts or elite darts. If you do not, um, buy a refill pack of those and then get this or at the same time, I guess. Um, so either way, get this. So yeah, now let's get on to the firing test. Alright guys, I'm back with the firing test of the double strike and I'm going to be shooting four flat shots at that wall right there, the one with the light switch, and that's about 40 feet away from where I'm firing. So, like I said, all gonna be flat shots, and here we go. 
Ooh, that was a bad shot. Ooh, jeez. It was shooting much harder. There we go. Um, so as you can see from the last two shots, the darts kind of like floated, which I think is kind of weird. Um, it does, it didn't do that with the hammer shot, but apparently the double strike does. So, yeah, this thing is awesome. <laughs> and if I were you, I would go out and pick one up. By the way, I got this for 10 bucks at Target. So, yeah, uh, make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you want more awesome content. And keep it tuned right here to King Nerd. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.